Okay, so the first uh, example, first of all, this is what we are doing. And here is uh, the first example. Uh, <clears throat> we want to find a set of all points in R3. that are equidistant from the points and we have two points of call 1P and this is the P is one uh, has the coordinate ABC and the second point Q has the coordinate uh, D, e, F. Not too imaginative, but this is a, a, a thing problem 21, and I think it was part of your homework, said, but this is the more generic form. Uh, in other words, you don't see any specific values here. So you have two points in space, and you want to know uh, what is, what kind of curve or not curve surface, because we're dealing with, uh, with space. Uh, consist of all the points that are, have the same equal distance from these two points. Now, we know that if this was a two-dimensional deal, then we would have a, li have a line, uh, and uh, that, that would be somewhere right in, in the middle of the distance between, between the two points. So uh, you can say that a perpendicular to this line, the perpendicular of this line would, would be equal. But here we're dealing with the space, but the solution is the same. We, we have the, last time we dealt with the distance formula in three dimensions, so that will be our starting point. <clears throat> so let's pick up a generic point in be somewhere in the space, uh, and that, uh, that would be point R. Uh, R, let we call it X, Y, Z, okay? Uh, be uh, a point in R3 that is equidistant from both uh, P and Q. Okay, and now we can use the distance formula uh, and we'll, we can deal with the square instead of using the square root. Uh, I, I actually didn't finish the statement here such that uh, D1 is uh, the distance um, from, let's say, P to R. No, I do R to P. And, and uh, D2 It is or equal, let's change that, make it equal, um, the distance from R to Q, and finally, these two, D1, is D equal D2, because it's the, the, those, the distances are, are the same. And, <clears throat> and if D1 equals D2, then we can take the square. So we can say D1 squared equal D2 squared. This, this way we eliminate they need to use the square root. And now we say, what is D1? If you recall the distance formula, let me bring it uh, back from, from last time. If I do have it, I think I do. Um, here it is. This is the, um, the next page. This is the distance formula, the three-dimensional distance formula. If you have two points, one is x1, y1, z1, and the other x2, y, uh, y2, z2. So we're going to use that, except we're going to square it. All right, so uh, d1. d1 is, the, is rp. r is x, y, z, and p is a, b, c. So d1 squared equals 
the quantity x1 minus a squared plus the quantity y, I'm sorry, I said x1, just x minus a squared, the quantity y minus b squared plus the quantity z minus c squared. Okay, this is d1 squared. d2 squared will have the quantity x minus uh, d squared plus the quantity y minus e squared plus the quantity z minus f squared. And now all we need to do is use a little bit of algebra and, uh, and clear the parentheses or FOIL. So we have x squared minus 2ax plus a squared. And likewise, y squared minus 2by plus b squared. And finally, the z squared minus 2z uh, plus c squared. All of it is equal to on this side uh, equal to x squared minus 2dx plus d squared and you can see where I'm where I'm going with it so let me finish writing finally z squared minus 2 uh, 2zf or 2fz plus f squared Okay. Right away, we can see that x squared equals x squared, so we can reduce y squared equals y squared, and z squared equals z squared. So we reduce all of that. Um, <clears throat> and if I'll factor negative 2, uh, let's see how I want to work it out. I don't need to factor anything. I'm going to just write... Um, the coefficient of x will be um, negative 2 <clears throat> and if I move everything to the left except the uh, except the uh, a squared, b squared, c squared and all of that <coughs> we'll have the following we'll have a negative 2 and we have a minus d those will be the coefficient of x and then negative 2 and here we'll have b minus e times y and then negative 2 c minus f times z okay and uh, what's left on this side will be simply um, Let's see what's left on this side. Um, why am I moving? I, I'm, I move everything to to the left. Okay, so I'll, I'll make an equation and start a notation. <clears throat> so we'll have uh, a squared plus b squared plus c squared, and then plus dot 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 minus and from here we have d squared uh, e squared f squared like so okay. I'm sorry and equals zero everything equals zero um, and the equation the generic equation if we'll divide Um, if we'll divide everything by negative 2, we end up having this equation a minus d times x plus b minus e times y plus um, c minus f times z and on the right side we'll have one half times, uh, remember we divided by negative 2 so d squared e squared and f squared are positive but if we move them to the right they'll be negative so and this will be this a b a squared b squared and c squared uh, will be positive so we have a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus uh, d squared minus e squared minus f squared 
Okay, and this is the the generic solution. Uh, All right, so what is the result? The result, obviously we have an equation in x, y, and z, so it's a surface, right? But it's it's a little bit more than a surface. Is, is this is really a surface or it's a plane? It's actually a plane, uh, but it's a plane that is, is, is not parallel to either the x, y plane or the y z plane or the z x plane it's a, it's a plane that is is skewed in space okay but it's a it's a plane it's a so so it's a plane that is perpendicular because it has to be equidistant so it's a perpendicular to the line again the line in space to the line connecting uh, P and Q. Okay, so again, this was the, the last, uh, I think you had a homework problem similar to that, except all those coefficients A, B, C, D, E, F were, were numerals. 